Dosena v. Sang. Panlalogan of Eastern Samar. Facts Luis Capito, elected and serving as member of the Sanganyang Panlalogan, died in office. Petitioner Augustin Dosena was appointed to succeed Capito. This appointment was issued by Department of Local Government Secretary Santos on November 19, 1990. November 27, for unknown reasons, Respondent Socrates Aller was also appointed by Secretary Santos to the position already occupied by Docena. December 18, the SP passed Resolution No. 75 recognizing Aller rather than Docena as legitimate successor of the late Capito. December 19. Secretary Santos sent a letter to Aller, informing the latter of the prior appointment of Docena and recalling Aller's appointment. Issue 1. Docena should be the appointed member to the Sanganyang Panlalogan. Held, yes ratio, the pertinent legal provision is Section 50, LGC. SEC 50. Permanent Vacancies in Local Sanganians. Except for the Sanganyang Barangay, the appointee shall come from the political party of the Sanganyan member who caused the vacancy, and shall serve the unexpired term of the vacant office. 1. From the tenor of the appointment extended to Docena on November 19, 1990, there is no question that it was intended to be permanent. Petitioner's appointment had already become complete and enforceable at the time it was supposed to have been superseded by the appointment in favor of Aller. Docena had already acquired security of tenure in the position and could be removed therefrom only for any of the causes, and conformably to the procedure prescribed by the local government code. These requirements could not be circumvented by the simple process of recalling his appointment. 2. The respondents are ambivalent about the power of the Secretary of Local Government to recall his appointments. They described the December 19 recall of Aller as whimsical, capricious and wishy-washy for lack of a previous hearing. Appoint of local officials common to all municipalities, cities, and provinces. Darama VCA Facts, Petitioner Conrado L. Darama, Mayor of Pagbailao, Kaesong, wrote a letter to the Civil Service Commission, seeking the recall of the appointments of 14 municipal employees. Petitioner Darama justified his recall request on the allegation that the appointments of said employees were midnight. Appointments of the former mayor, Ma. Evelyn S. Abeja, done in violation of Article 7, Section 15 of the 1987 Constitution. Three of the said employees, namely, Elsa Marino, Morel Ayala, and Flor Eliza Oriazel, filed with the CSC a claim for payment of their salaries, alleging that although their appointments were declared permanent by Conrad Ogulim, Director 2 of the CSC field office based in Kaesong, Petty 1 or Dorama withheld the payment of their salaries and benefits pursuant to Office Order No. 95-01. Based on the documents submitted by Marino, Ayala, and Oriazel, the Legal and Quasi-Judicial Division of the CSC issued an order finding that since the claimant's employees had assumed their respective positions and performed their duties pursuant to their appointments, they are entitled to receive the salaries and benefits appurtenant to their positions. The CSC Legal and Quasi-Judicial Division ruled that the said employees cannot be deprived of their salaries and benefits by the unilateral act of the newly assumed mayor. CSC denied Petitoner's request for the recall of appointments of the 14 employees, for lack of merit, and declared that the appointments of the said employees were issued in accordance with pertinent laws and cannot be withdrawn or revoked by the appointing authority until disproved by the CSC. Furthermore, CSC dismissed petitioner's allegation that these were midnight appointments. Constitutional provision prohibits only those appointments made by an outgoing president and cannot apply to local elective officials. CSC upheld the validity of the appointments, and petitioner's failure to present evidence would warrant the revocation or recall of the said appointments. Petitioner moved for the reconsideration of the CSC's resolution, averring that the CSC was without jurisdiction. 
to refuse to revoke the subject appointments, and to uphold the validity of said appointments. Even assuming there was failure to present evidence. Issue, whether or not Article 7, Section 15 of the Constitution covers local elective officials. Decision, no. Records reveal that when the petitioner brought the matter of recalling the appointments of the 14 private respondents before the CSC, the only justification he gave was that these were midnight appointments that are forbidden under Article 7, Section 15 of the Constitution. The CSC ruled, and correctly so, that the said prohibition applies only to presidential appointments. In truth, there is no law that prohibits local elective officials from making appointments during the last days of his or her tenure. Dissenting Opinion, Mendoza What the majority overlooks is that Article 7, Section 15 is simply an application of a broader principle that after the appointing authority has lost the elections, his is the duty of a prudent caretaker of the office. And therefore, he should not fill positions in the government unless required by the imperatives of public service.